Hi children, this is Ramesh and welcome to my channel. So today is our topic is in the real number chapter exercise number 1.3 visualizing rational numbers on the successive magnification number line. So what is the meaning of rational number? Which type of rational number we are going to be represent on the number line? That I will explain you now. Just what are the rational numbers which can be able to be expressed in the form of p by q where q is not equal to 0 and p comma q are integers are known as a rational numbers. So let me tell you suppose all the decimals as I told you in the, my introduction of the rational numbers I told you all the decimals are all the decimals in the sense some kind of terminating decimal numbers are rational numbers and non-terminating repeating decimal numbers are rational numbers. Non-terminating non-repeating decimal numbers are considered as a irrational number. To tell you about the decimals, I have done a separate video on the decimals. You can also go through that video and at end of this video, it is also displayed on the screen. You can tap that to see the about the decimals and also you can tap there will be one more video at end of this video about the introduction about the real number chart. These two videos you watch it and also watch this video to understand more better. So let's see what is the terminating decimal number. Suppose 2.874 it is the terminating decimal number. How can I tell the number of decimal digits after the decimal point are countable. The number, number of decimal digits are countable after the decimal point. So this decimal number is known as a terminating decimal number. Non-terminating repeating decimal number suppose 2.353535 it can represent as 2.35 bar. It is known as a non-terminating repeating decimal numbers. These two decimal numbers are known as rational numbers. Now we are going to represent, we are going to represent these two type of rational numbers on the number line by using successive magnification glass. Magnification glass, you have an idea about it. Nothing but we can see enlarge and see that. If you use the magnification glass at anything or anyone, we can enlarge it and see very closely. That is what use of the magnification glass. Okay. Now let us in the 1.3 we have two problems. Sir. Let me solve that two problems of two different methods. Okay, I will tell you the two problems sir. how to represent on the successive magnifications, like how to visualize that. The first one is represent, visualize this 2.874 2.874 on the number line by using successive magnification. Okay, let's see. As we, we have to be first thing that what is the value here? We need to visualize 2.874. 2.8. The number 2.8 is lie between 2 and 3. Between 2 and 3, this number is visualized. Yes, sir. Okay, let me draw a number line here. Let me draw the number line here. Let me draw the number line here. Here, before the 2, there will be whatever. Here 0, 1, it, here it will be 2, 2 and that will be, there is a 3 immediately comes here, yes, so 2 and here 3, 4, 5, 6, it is one like it, but between, when you see a ruler or a scale which, you present, which is present at you, between the 2 and 3 or between 1 and 1 centimeter and another centimeter there are some millimeters there are 10 small lines yes sir in the same way between 2 and 3 we need to visualize because this 2.874 is lying between 2 and 3 so we draw a one magnification glass here and visualize, we watch it closely again. So, we get a one more number line here. 
so when you watch closely here between this two and three there will be again there are numbers that we need to be observe here it will be two now when you observe here you can see two point one two point two two point three two point four two point five two point six two point seven two point eight two point nine here three so this two and this is three so between this two and three these numbers are lying down now in this what number we require two point eight seven four so where is two point eight now we need to see two point eight this number is lying between now two point eight and between two point nine two point eight seven this eight seven eight out of seven that this number is lying between now 2.8 and 2.9 there is 2.8 and 2.9 here let's draw a magnification glass here and we also observe the closely between these two numbers now what 2.8 and 2.9 between this we need to observe very closely now. so we get a one more number line when you observe very closely that here 2.8 okay so we take three here We take this number as so two point eight. So here we get now two point eight one, two point eight two, two point eight three, two point eight four, two point eight five, two point eight six, two point eight seven, two point eight eight, two point eight nine. So, if you observe very closely by using magnification glass here, this between two point eight and two point nine, we can see these numbers now. These numbers we can see between these two. So, which number we need to be see now? See two point eight seven. There is two point eight seven here. The two point eight seven and eight seven after there is a four here. So, the two point eight seven four, eight seven four lies between. These two numbers between two point eight seven and two point eight eight between these two numbers, this number is lying. So we need to be other close with these two numbers now. Let's go through that now. Let's go through this. Once what is two point eight seven? Here we get two point eight seven one, two point eight seven two. Two point eight seven three, two point eight seven four. This is what we need. So let's continue again. Two point eight seven five, two point eight seven six, two point eight seven seven, two point eight seven eight. Two point eight seven nine, eight seven nine. Okay, two point eight eight. This this is the number. Next, we need to see which number. Uh, this is number one. Where it is here? Just round of it. Here, this is the required number. So in this way, we need to visualize the number. See. Okay, 2.88. Here we get 2.88. Okay, so visualizing the numbers, the required until we get the required number, we have to visualize in this way only. Okay, between these two numbers, there are ten numbers here that I have got. Between these two numbers now, there are other numbers. Okay, in this way we can represent. Now the other one. Other type of numbers. Look, uh, this is one terminating decimal number. So all the terminating decimal numbers we need to do like this one. So suppose there is again two point eight seven four five. So that we can observe here now between these two. Again we have to observe very closely by using magnification glass in between these two. We get the further numbers. I hope you understand this. Next, we go for the other one. 
the non terminating repeating decimal numbers let us represent non terminating repeating decimal numbers on this successive multiplication number line that is the next question is that 5.28 bar yes this is the second question visualize 5.28 bar on the number line by using successive magnification class okay let's first of all let's see 5.2 this 5.2 is lies between 5 and 6 first of all let us draw a number line so what is the meaning of this 5.28 when you expand it we know that the bar contain numbers are 2 what are the 2 and 8 This two and a will repeat continuously until infinity. Five point two eight, two eight, two eight, and so on. This will repeat infinity number of times. So how many times? How many number of times we need to take to represent this? Simple. You represent only three times. You take three decimal digits only. Five point two eight, two. Till here you represent R one. You take a one. This is the number now we need to be represent. This is the value. Again, it is continuous, but here is the twist of it. So, is it a five point two eight? The same thing we have here again. Five point two eight, two eight, two eight, and so on. This is what we need to represent. Let's see. We know that that five point two eight is lie between five and six. Let's go for here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. This five point two we can see between this five and six. So let us visualize. That means we use the magnification glass and we see the closely that between these two numbers. So immediately we get the one more number line between five. Five after we get five point one. When you closely observe, observe between these two numbers, we get five point one, five point two. 5.3 5.4 5.5 5.6 5.7 5.8 5.9 you will get the 6 so when you visualize between these when you use the magnification glass and see between this 5 and 6 we get these numbers now let us see now what number we require 5.2 8 to 8. That means this 5.2. Where is the 5.2? Here. Between this 5.2 and 5.3, this number is lies. 5.28. Where is the 5.28? Between these two numbers, 5.2. After we are between 5.3. These two need to be closed up again. Let's use this. Let's observe between these two numbers. Let's see. First one, 5.2. After the 5.2, then you see very closely between this by using this glass, we get 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 
Bye, sir.